you know you're still riding that hype, right? You're still riding that hype train in, coming down the train station, coming from the train station, whatever you want to call it, coming in the tide of the Animal Crossing Direct is still got us all hyped up, right? But there's some people out there that are just still very confused, trying to throw doubt on this thing and shade on this thing. So today, we're going to talk about what the free updates mean. Doesn't mean you're going to be buying anything. Doesn't mean you're going to be paying for anything. What exactly is all this? Why is it an incomplete game? Let's discuss. What is up, everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru Man. It is, it's, it's, here we go. Right, we're, we're right here. We're, we're, we're chugging along. We're doing that thing. Animal Crossing. We're still back on this thing, right? And we're, we're talking about it because there seems to be a lot of speculation, doubt, and and naysayers still out there after this amazing Animal Crossing Direct that we just got the other day. And I felt like I wanted to talk about something to explain something. I, I've seen people posting on Facebook. I've seen people discussing where they feel like this game is not a complete game. That... Um, at some point, these free updates are going to turn into microtransactions. These free updates are going to turn into, you have to have Nintendo Online. Uh, these free updates are going to mean you have to buy things in Pocket Camp and all that stuff. Let's just pump the brakes, people. Let's just slow down for a minute here. Let's take a deep breath. We saw this thing. And let's figure out exactly what's happening. So... Why is it that we're getting a free update of Bunny Day when this game launches? It's very simple. I think if you go back to a video I did way back where I was explaining how hacking and duping and, and power saves were part of the reason why Nintendo was doing the things they were doing based on the cloud saves. They weren't allowing cloud saves because they were trying to stop the hacking and all that stuff. Some people still don't get it. Some people don't are still pretty upset about it. And to each their own, I'm not getting into that discussion on this video. It is what it is at this point. But that kind of sets the tone. If you if you look at that move, it sets the tone for things of the future. Now, people will will wholeheartedly come out and say, like, time travel is cheating. Um, time travel is kind of like getting around things and getting things before other people. Now, when you went back in time, right, when you looked at the GameCube version, right, when you looked at Wild World, when you looked at City Folk, even when you looked at New Leaf, Nintendo, although they didn't push and promote time travel, they also didn't care. But we now live in a different day and age. We live in an age when time traveling could eventually spoil the entire game for a whole new audience, a whole new uh, group of people that are jumping into this game for the first time. Now listen, I've played Animal Crossing a million times, right? And I might be sitting there going like, well, come on, man, why can't I go to Christmas, Toy Day? Why can't I go Why can't I go to Halloween and, and, and mess with Jack and all that stuff? And what about Pave and all that? Because, A, they might be changing some things about that a little bit, like, the actual whole event might be changing a little bit. But on top of that, with streamers, with YouTubers out there today, for people that are so, man, just looking for them clicks, right? Those people could easily just time travel to events and post it up on, on, on YouTube and or stream the, the whole event just to get a big influx of crowds and to basically get their numbers up and drive their numbers at the end of the day, it hurts people that are... It doesn't hurt people. Uh, it might spoil some things that people might not want to see or might not be ready to see. And, and let's be honest, it's not easy with social media just to turn a blind eye and look the other way. Have you ever tried to go a whole day without finding out any information on a game that you like and everybody is talking about it? It is very difficult. So I assure you that day one, you would have people time traveling all over and getting Pave furniture and Toy Day furniture and uh, Franklin Thanksgiving Day furniture and, 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 and Jack's furniture and all this stuff and then like either selling it on the internet because that's what we do. We, we, we try to sell to get, make bells and all that stuff or just kind of flaunting it or just spoiling it for people where we don't know what these things look like or what this thing is going to be or how these things happen. 
And I think that's where this all comes from. You have people saying that they really believe that the free... They feel two full things. They feel, A, that the game is not a complete game. That Nintendo is holding back from us. That they're shipping an incomplete game. Not true. Not true. I believe that these events are done. I believe these events are built and made and ready to go. But they just felt like we didn't want to put them out there and then have that stuff spoiled or put all over the internet. I mean, when you think about it, when people get copies of games early, like look what happened with Smash. Someone got a copy of Smash early, was streaming it, and Nintendo just shut it down. Like, just went in and crushed it. Even so much as just music. There was music YouTube channels that lost their channels completely because they were streaming Smash music before the game actually launched. It's just something that they are very protective of. They spend years creating something. They don't want it ruined and they don't want to deal with people that are just like flaunting it and making fun of it and, 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 and killing it for other people. The Animal Crossing community, I feel for the most part, is a very tight knit community. We all get along very well. We all love each other very well. We all kind of work together. You know what I mean? Like, there's been times where I've needed flowers and people have given them to me and I've vice versa, where I've needed certain items to finish a, a set and people give it to you and, and vice versa. And But there's people out there that exploit that and mock that and make fun of that. And I think that's essentially where Nintendo's mindset is. It's like, listen, these are some things that we're gonna do. We're gonna protect what we're building. We're gonna protect what we're doing here. And we're just gonna leave it that way. And if you don't like it, oh well, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, like to then go around because you're not really maybe happy with this concept, to say that, hey, the tie-ins with Pocket Camp is gonna lead to micro transactions. Because God forbid, we know there's microtransactions. That's that's what the website says. And full disclosure, my true belief is that the microtransactions is basically buying Nintendo online. I believe that you will be able to purchase Nintendo online through the game and that will allow you to unlock Nintendo Online. And that, in the United States terms, or the ESRB is, that is an in-game purchase. So you have to put that up. Because if there was microtransactions, it would be listed on the Japanese website, it would be listed on the European website, it would be listed on the Australian website. Like, wherever these, these ratings boards would, you would see, we would have seen that the United States, North America, was not the only website to have this little caveat so that being said because there's that rumor of in-game purchases people are now pointing to pocket camp and that connection and saying there's going to be microtransactions in this game the other thing that i saw was <laughs> this is this is this is cute uh that nintendo is going to use the free updates to turn it where you have to then be an owner of nintendo online in order to continue the free updates that if you don't have that you're not going to get the holidays they are not going to do that people like just let's take a deep breath here like stop stop there are companies out there would probably do stuff like this but nintendo is not one of those companies nintendo has never been egregious when it comes to things like this like they have never been openly like we are going to rape your wallet like they don't do that stuff and don't get me wrong i know there is some dlc out there that is a little over the top but at the end of the day they give quite a bit like there was um lost dragilia the game the mobile game they actually went to the developer and said you need to cut back on some of the microtransactions we're making too much money on this thing so i don't believe the hype and the and the uh the myths that people are trying to write in the story they're trying to tell. And I wanted to let people understand that, like, I truly believe, as I believe this entire time, Nintendo is trying to protect the game, the franchise, its players. They're trying to protect it from hackers and people that would spoil the game. They're trying to make this game because they know that we have been waiting for this for a very long time. And they're trying to make it live up to everything that we've been wanting and keep our expectations very high. So that is my belief, and that's what I truly believe is really happening here. I don't think for a single second that this will lead to microtransactions, that this is a ploy to sell Nintendo Online and all that stuff. So if you're hearing that stuff, man, just, just ignore it, please. I'm begging you, because it's just silliness through and through. So anyway, that is all. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode over here on my channel, on the Nintendo Guru channel. Uh, please, if you liked the video, please slap the like button down below, share it with your friends, 
Um, do me a favor though, in the comments, let me know like what holiday, what event are you looking most forward to in New Horizons? What do you hope they, they plug in here? Do you hope they change anything up with the events if you've played New Leaf? If this is your first time, are you excited for it? Uh, be sure to follow me Instagram, Twitter, and on Twitch at NintendoGurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.